we're, we're emerging from the pandemic and it feels like we've got renewed sense of optimism and, and life. And it's a beautiful thing. And I think when we set an intention for a practice today, maybe we can think about that renewal and that optimism. So find your way to a comfortable seated position. Remove the flesh from your sit bones and your sit bones are literally the bones that you sit on. We talk a lot about sit bones in, in yoga, but it's that grounding that we're going to, that we talk about as well, this grounding um, feet on the earth and sit up tall and draw your chin back. So your chin is, is actually kind of in line with your chest, your ears, are in line with your shoulders and drop your, your hands onto your legs and sink your elbows down. That draws your shoulders down your back, but the crown of your head is reaching up. So your spine is elongated. Your toes are pointing straight ahead at 12 o'clock. Bring all your toes up off of the floor and now try to place them down one at a time. Maybe your pinky and maybe coming up and then finally your big toe. Feel the pad of your big toe and the pad of your pinky toe on the mat or the ground or the carpet, whatever is there. And now feel both corners of your heel, that grounding of your foot. Your knees are right over your ankles, which means that you should be able to look down well, maybe you can see your toes, maybe you can't, but this is, this is true north alignment. And I love to start yoga practice by starting to wake, go through and wake up our body. You can close your eyes while we do this and I'll talk you through it. And maybe as your eyes are closing, you are thinking about your breath. So do that now, close your eyes and notice your breath. Is your belly rising and falling? Is your chest rising and falling? And maybe start by inflating your belly and then come up to your chest and breathe out through your mouth. Do that again. Inflate your belly, come up through your chest and now close your lips and start ujjayi breathing, which is a constriction in the back of your throat. So there's an audible sound to your breath. We do this in yoga as a reminder of our breath. We can hear our breath. We know when it's getting ragged. Just breathe in ujjayi breathing, drawing the crown of your head up. And count your breath. So your inhales and your exhales are even. Do that with four rounds of breath. And now you can keep your eyes closed if it's comfortable. If it's not comfortable, open your eyes and find a gaze point as we lower our chin to our chest. Now draw your chin up to the ceiling. Exhale, lower your chin to your chest, go slowly. Really exaggerate your movement as you move your chin up, look up, exhale, lower down. Draw chin to chest, look up. One more time, draw your chin to your chest, exhale. Now draw your left ear to your left shoulder, not shoulder to ear, ear to shoulder and look up. Right ear to right shoulder, look up. Left ear, left shoulder, look up. 
right ear, right shoulder. Look up, left ear, left shoulder. Look up, last time, right ear, right shoulder. And now bring it all together, chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale as you come back around, up, chin is up to the ceiling. And then chin, I'm sorry, right ear, right shoulder, chin to chest, exhale. Inhale as you come around. Just breathe deeply into this rather exaggerated movement. You're moving your neck. You're not moving your shoulders. One more time around, and then we're gonna reverse the direction. Draw your shoulders down your back as you reverse directions, breathing in and out as you come around and sink your chin. Working out all those kinks in your neck. And one more time around. Good. Come up to that tall seated position and draw your shoulders up to your ears, roll them down your back. Do these circular motions with your shoulders, really rolling them out as exaggerated as you can and draw your shoulders as low as you can. And now go in the opposite direction, breathing in and out the whole time, deep breaths. Extend your arms out long. Stretch your arms like you're reaching for either wall and start to circle your arms in big circles. Can be, doesn't matter if it's clockwise or counterclockwise, we're gonna go in opposite direction. See how large you can make those circles. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Now reverse that. Come around the opposite way, breathing in and out, Re releasing any tension that you may be feeling in your shoulders. If you feel tension, breathe into it. Okay, now bring those arms back out, straight out in a T and make small circles, counterclockwise or clockwise, it doesn't matter. Sit up tall, little teeny circles, opposite direction. Great, place your left hand down on your leg, reach your right arm up, look up at your thumb, and now hinge at your waist and draw that arm overhead so that your tricep is actually meeting your right ear. You're hinging at the waist. Come back up, look up, bring that right hand down. Now reach your left hand up, spark it up to the ceiling, look up at your thumb, now hinge over. You're hinging at the waist. Drawing that tricep to your ear. Just, a, it's a side body bend. Good, come back down. We're gonna do that once again on each side. Right hand up, look up at your thumb, draw that arm up overhead and hinge. Come back up, look up, draw that hand down. Left arm up, look up, hinge and breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Bring that hand down. Good job. So we're gonna to continue to wake up our body. We've done our shoulders, we've done our neck. We're gonna to move to our hips. So I want you to draw your right knee into your chest. So that is, you may feel that profoundly. Now draw that knee out to the side. Keep your left knee straight ahead, left toes straight ahead. Flex your right toes. See if you can grab your foot and extend your leg out long. Maybe your knee is bent like mine is. If that's too much, just keep your knee bent and open. And now I want you to rotate that hip in, around. It can go in either direction because we're going to reverse it in a second. So you're just rotating that hip out, not going in the opposite direction.
Good. Bring that foot to the floor or your mat. And now draw your left knee in. Grab that knee with your hands and draw it into your chest as much as you can. Breathe here. Sit up tall. Now draw it out and open it to the left, flexing those left toes. We flex our toes when we're going into hip openings, actually to protect our knee. So we can do this certainly when we're in a half pigeon on the mat, but this is, and see if you can maybe stretch that leg out long. My knee's totally bent. Do it, only do it if it feels okay. But here we are, that knee is, is open as much to the left wall as you can get it. And now begin to rotate that hip around. One side might feel a lot different than the other side. My left side feels a lot different than my right side. And go in the opposite direction now. Good, and place that foot back down on the mat. We're gonna do a little more hip awakening with our seated cat cow. So we, when you go into cow, you're actually looking up, you're taking your chin back up to that ceiling, your chest is coming through your arms and your booty is popping in the back. So you're popping your booty, you're looking up and then cat, you're rounding your back, you're drawing your chin to your chest and now your hips are flexing forward. Cow, inhale, look up, really accentuate that swivel of your hips and cat. Inhale, back up to cow, look up, big inhale, exhale into cat. One more time. Inhale into cow, look up, and exhale into cat. Good, come up to that comfortable seated position. Check out your true north alignment. If your flesh has come around your sit bones, remove it. And bring your right ankle up on your left knee. If that's not comfortable, don't do it. That's true. In any, in any of these poses. If it's ouch, don't do it. Back out of it. Flex your toes, press that knee away. So sit up tall, sit up as tall as you can, drawing the crown of your head up to the ceiling and press that knee away and breathe into it. If it feels stiff, that's okay. As we open up, that's, that's, not, that's not bad. If it's a little uncomfortable, that's not bad, but when you feel ouch, that, that we don't want. So breathe into this, push it away, push it away. Okay, remove the pressure that you've been placing on your knee. And now we're going to rotate our ankle. Again, we're just rolling it around. And I always say this when I do this, my ankle is clicking. Click, 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 which tells me I probably should do this a lot more than I do do it. And now roll it in the opposite direction. So it's really just giving some opening and flexibility to the long neglected ankle. Place that right foot down. And now let's do the same thing on the other side. So bring your left ankle up on your knee, get your knee at true north. So we're still lined up. We're sitting up tall, our shoulders are even, one's not like this, we're even shouldered. Press that left knee away, flexing your right toes. Breathe into it. And like I said, my left side feels a lot different than my right side. Breathe and push. Breathe deeply and push away. Breathe and push away. One more breath in and out. And now let's do the rolling out of our ankle. It doesn't matter which direction you're going in because we'll go in the opposite direction in a second. So roll it out, flexing your toes as you do it. And now roll in the opposite direction. 
good deal. And place your foot on the mat. One last body part to wake up. And um, I, this is important, our hands. So I think a lot of us start as we age, get a little bit of stiffness in our hands, or maybe we literally get um, arthritis in our hands. So it's really good to do some hand stretches, okay? So I like to place my hands out in front, draw your shoulders up and down your back, sit up tall, and we're gonna open and close our fingers in an exaggerated way 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Good. Get your hands together and reverse them. So interlace them and then reverse them. Draw them up overhead. Good. And bring them back down. Place your hands on your knees with your fingers facing each other and lean into this. So we're stretching our wrists a little bit. And come back up. Now see if you can get your fingers facing your body and again, lean into this, maybe bending your elbows and then trying to straighten your elbows and you'll feel this significantly in your wrist, I think. And bend in again. Now place your palms, your hands on your, on your thighs and your wrists are facing each other. And again, bend into this and come up. Again, interlace your hands and reverse them. Good. Well done. So let us do, um, I'm just looking at my, let's, let's do, let's go through our, our salutations. So we're gonna do about 10 rounds of salutation just to get our body warmed up for when we get into the part where we're doing slightly deeper stretches. So, you know, we, and what's important when we do the salutations is to follow breath. So when you're expanding, when you're going up, draw your abdominal muscles in, look up, you're breathing in. When you fold forward, you exhale. When you come up to a half lift, you're breathing in. When you fold, you breathe out. When you come up to cactus arms, you're breathing in. When you bring hands to chest, you breathe out, you take an inhale, you take an exhale and then come up. So it's really, in some ways, it's less about the movement and more about following the breath. So see if it makes sense as we, as we go through this. So bring your hands to heart in prayer and breathe in and out. Breathe in, mountain pose. Draw your abdominals in. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, cactus your arms. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, mountain pose. Breathe out, hands to heart in prayer. Breathe in, breathe out, fold. Breathe in, mountain, engage those abdominals. Breathe out, hands to heart in prayer. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, mountain, look up. Dive down, exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, cactus your arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, heart, hands to heart in prayer. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart in prayer. Breathe in and out. 
Breathe in, mountain. Look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, straight back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, cactus your arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart in prayer. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart in prayer. And take a couple rounds of breath here. This is the intermission. <laughs> If you found that you've lost your breath, breathe in and ha. Ah. Breathe in, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift, straight back. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, cactus your arms. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, mountain, look up, engage those stomach muscles, breathe out, prayer, breathe in, exhale, dive down, inhale, mountain, exhale, hands to heart in prayer, breathe in and out, breathe in, mountain, look up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, hands on knees, straight back. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, cactus your arms. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, mountain, look up. Exhale, hands to heart in prayer. Inhale and exhale, dive down. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart in prayer and take a couple rounds of breath. And one more round. Really slow and work with your breath. Inhale, look up. Spark your hands up. Dive down on the exhale. Inhale, flat backs. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, cactus your arms. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, spark your fingers up. Mountain, bring your hands to heart in prayer. Breathe in and out. Another inhale in. Forward fold, dive down, exhale. Spark your fingers up, look up, hands to heart in prayer. Good job. Take a drink of water. Let's do um, right before we get into doing some balance, let's do a seated eagle. So I want you to wrap your right leg over your left and maybe with an assist, see maybe that right leg stays on the outside of your left leg. Flex your right toes. If you can, maybe you can wrap your right toes around your left shin. So either way, either your toes are flexed, your right toes are flexed on the outside of your left shin, or you're wrapping, you can assist your right toes around. So here we are. Now bring your arms up, you can bring them into prayer, and then bring your right arm under your left. Feel what that does to your shoulder blades. Your shoulder blades should feel like they're really open. You want your shoulders going down your back. You don't want to be hunching up. You want them down 
and you want to feel like you're spreading, like you're like you're an eagle, like your wings are expanding. Now draw your elbows up so that your elbows are parallel with your shoulders. And now reach your palms forward three inches. So you're creating a beak. And this is seated eagle. Sometimes we, we do a, a variation of this when we're in a balance holding the chair, but this gives you the feeling of that arm movement, which can be really beneficial. And unwind, unwind everything, just unwind. So we'll do the same thing using the left leg. So we're, we're wrapping our left leg around, see if you can get your left toes fully around or leave them flexed on the outside of your, or the, yeah, the outside of your right foot or bring them around, whatever works for you. Keep, I'm gonna keep my, my right foot on the mat, sit up tall and now wrap your left arm under your right and draw your elbows up, but your shoulders down and feel that expansion in your shoulders. As you draw those palms forward, maybe just two or three inches, you're kind of forming a beak. And breathe into this. and slowly unwind. Good job. So let's come to a standing position and move your chair so that your chair can be a support. And I want you to use the chair as much as you need, but it's also fun to, sorry, I gotta adjust my camera a little bit, but it's also fun to challenge yourself with balance. And um, I, I probably have mentioned this. I, I have found in this past month since losing my mind, my mom, my balance has been off because I think there is an emotional connection. I mean, feeling balanced emotionally, I think does impact how we balance physically. But I also think that balance is one of those things, like so many things that we can practice and improve upon. So if you feel like you have lousy balance, start by simply standing next to something that can support you if you need the support. So you've got a chair and you can you know, place your hand lightly on, on the back of a chair or on your countertop or on anything that's stable and simply lift your left leg. So I want you to do that. If you're able to balance, use this as an opportunity to practice that. So we bring a little bit of bend to our standing knee. So we're not locking that joint out. We, and this allows us to use our muscle, right? Your hands can be, uh, the palms can be facing forward or they can be facing your body or they can be up in prayer. What, wherever your hands are, that doesn't matter. But use your gaze, your drishti. So find a gaze point that you can stare at and melt into that and breathe and draw your belly up and back like you're zipping up your favorite pants. That core stability will help you balance. And place that left foot down when we started the practice today, we were talking about true north alignment. And one of the things we did, we, we brought our toes up off the floor and we laid them down so that you can feel the pad of your big toe and the pad of your pinky toe. And then we felt the, for the back edge of either side of our heel. So that's also another sensation that's helpful as we balance that you feel that foot really grounded. And maybe you're drawing your arch up so that there's some engagement in your shin as you lift your right foot now, simply just lift it off the ground, holding onto the chair as you need. 
but challenging yourself to release the chair, maybe for a second or two. And you're standing up tall, you bring a little bend to that standing leg. So you're using your muscles and breathe and drishti. And if you're grabbing the chair, release for a second and then take the chair again. And then release for a second and take the back of the chair again. And then see if you can release for two seconds. And take the back of the chair and draw your right foot down. So that is, I mean, that is the, the essential practice of balance. It's simply standing on one foot. So now I want you to, we're gonna come into maybe the next most basic um, pose, which is tree. So here, there's three ways of doing it. Unlock your standing leg always. Draw your ankle, your left ankle, to be close to your right ankle and your toes are on the floor. This is called kickstand. So you can be here. You can draw your foot up into your shin. Or if you have the flexibility and the balance, you can draw your foot up into your thigh. You're really pressing that foot into the thigh or the shin or the ankle and breathe. Hands at heart, hands at your side, that doesn't matter. But you're drawing the crown of your head up you're standing up tall. If you need the back of your chair, that's fine. But just like we were doing when we were doing a leg raise, release that back for a second. And then hold it again. And then see if you can get to two seconds. And then challenge yourself to get there for three seconds. And draw that foot down. So the left foot is on the mat. You can shift your chair around or move around to the other side of your chair because we're going to do tree on the other side now. So just like the, just like, obviously, just like the other side, kickstand is good. So here we are, your toes are on the mat. And if you want to challenge yourself, you can just simply slowly lift those toes off the mat, maybe grab the chair, release, grab. So you want to challenge yourself to see if you can improve your balance. Unlock your left knee and place or place your foot on your shin, or maybe if it's there for you, place your foot on the inside of your thigh and breathe. Just don't put your, put your foot on your knee. And if you're sliding off your pants like I am, really press your foot into the thigh and breathe and drishti. and challenge yourself. If this is easy for you and you find balance to be a breeze, bend your standing leg and then bring it up, Oop. bring it up. And if you fall out like I just did, just come back to it, doesn't matter. That's why they call this yoga practice. And bring your right foot down. Good job. Very, very good job. Let's, let's, while well, with our chair right here, I want to stretch out your calf muscles a little bit, and my calf muscles too. So I want you to bring your right foot forward, bend your right knee so that your knee is bent over your ankle, and step your left leg back as far as you can with that right knee right over your ankle. You can look at your camera to see if if you've got it. Now I want you to stretch that left leg and try to get your heel on the floor. You might not be making it, but you're feeling that big stretch in your calf. And stand up tall and look straight ahead. Shoulders are down your back and breathe into this. Good. 
and step your left foot forward to meet your right and now step your right foot back. Take it back as far as you need to so that your left knee is now bent over your left ankle and that right leg is straight behind you and the ankle or your heel is trying to reach for the floor but not making it. And again, stand, sit up tall or get your back straight. Crown of your head is reaching to the ceiling. Your arms are stretched out. You're looking straight ahead and breathe into it. Whenever you have sort of the sense that you're really stretching a muscle, breathe into it. Like think of that muscle and just breathe thinking about that muscle. One more breath in and step forward to meet, your feet are meeting. Now come around so that we're now, our hands are on our chair. And I want you to back up so that your back is flat. Really stretching out our back, bring some bend to your knees. You're not locking out your knees. You've got some bend to your knees and try to actually try to get your head so that it's between your arms and those triceps are right around your ears. Your back is long, the crown of your head is drawing forward. Breathe and stretch. Okay, now take, place your left foot. Your left foot is staying on the mat. Bring your right leg long behind you. I've got my chin a little bit. So your right leg is long and try to look back. You can see your hips. You're not fanning open your right hip yet. I want your hips parallel, but you know that you can move your leg up and down with your hips parallel, right? So get your hips parallel. Your leg is straight behind you. You've got some bend into your standing leg. And now I want you to turn your toes so they're facing the wall on your right. So your hips are not kind of stacked. This is a variation of a, a half moon pose. Breathe into it. Now, turn your toes back down and now your hips are parallel and draw that knee into your chest. Your right knee is coming into your chest. See if your forehead can almost touch your knee and stretch it out back behind you and bring it down and place it on the floor. We're gonna do that same, that same thing only with our left leg. So extend your left leg long. And again, look at your hips. You can see that you can move your leg up and down and your hips can stay parallel, right? Because you're just using your various leg muscles to get that done. Bring some bend into your standing right leg. Breathe into it. And now turn your toes so they're facing the wall on your left. Try to keep your I'm trying to keep my shoulders. Well, my shoulders are kind of turning too. My toes are facing the wall on the left. Now turn those toes back down to face the floor and draw that knee into your torso and maybe your knee is almost touching your forehead and place that foot on the mat. Good job. Come back down to a seated position. Take a drink, take whatever you need. Raise your arm arms up overhead, look up at your fingers, draw your right knee up with your arms, lower down. Raise your arms up and draw your left knee up, lower down. Again, draw your arms up and your right knee up, lower down. Draw your arms up and your left knee up and lower down. We're going to do our little warriors. So move 
so that your right knee is facing the right wall. Your toes are straight ahead facing that wall as well. And extend your left leg behind you. I'm on my left toes and I'm trying to get my chest so that my shoulders are also facing the wall in front of me. Now, my chair, this chair, um, it has a very high seat. So I'm, my, 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 my toes, my foot is barely on the floor up here. So I, this all depends on the chair you've got, right? So make it so that it works for you and is comfortable. But basically what we're trying to do in Warrior One, you're trying to get your hips facing the wall in front of you and your shoulders are on top of your hips. And it's a tricky pose, there's no question about it. And it's equally tricky in the seated position. So there's, you know, it's, you're, we're not copying out here at all. And we do this by drawing our right hip back and our left, left hip forward. Again, this is a little tricky to do this in a chair, but that is the basic concept. You're trying to shift your hips and your shoulders straight ahead. And we're looking straight ahead at that wall. And then depending on your chair, I've got this ladder back chair here, draw your arms up overhead. Maybe you can start with cactus arms if that feels good. And just breathe into it. Breathe and then when you're ready, draw your arms up overhead and your triceps are right around your ears. And I'm flexing my hands so that my pinkies are coming towards one another. That just helps me get my shoulders in a, in a better position. Breathe into it and out. Breathe in and out. One more breath in. Now, see if you can bring your hands behind your back. Again, this chair is making it tough for me. And draw them down your back. So my hands are clasped behind my back. And I'm just simply trying to sink my hands lower down my back. Good. Now we're going to come into a warrior two. So your hands, maybe you come onto your, the side of your foot because now your hips are facing the wall on your left. So now on your shoulders on top of your hips, open up your arms, reaching them in opposite directions, reaching for those walls, big stretch. Breathe here, in and out and reverse your warrior. So your left hand is going down your left leg and you're looking up at your right thumb. Breathe here, engage your, you can feel your abdominal muscles engaged. And now place your arm, your right arm on your right thigh. And we're going to come into side angle. So my left hand is up, now I'm looking up at my left thumb and I'm lightly placing this forearm, my right forearm on my right thigh. And again, it's a big side body stretch. Breathe in and out in and out. And now just come out of it slowly and work your way around. So you're sitting back in a comfortable seated position. Good. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So here we are, we're sitting, we've got that true north, everything's cool. Bring your left leg so that it's now facing the wall on your left. And However you need to, just draw your right foot back. I stay on my right toes when I'm in the warrior one position. Make any adjustments that you need to based on the chair that you've got. Breathe in and out. And slowly check out your hips. Can you do any assist to get your left hip back and your right hip forward? and your shoulders are on top of those hip bones. And then arms to cactus and then overhead. One side might feel very different than the other. That's okay. Breathe here, breathe in and out. Engage your abdominal muscles. They're helping to lift. This should be lifting up and out. It's an expansive, pose. Now clasp your hands behind your back 
and draw them down your back. And really open up your shoulders. Your shoulders are really going down your back. Breathe here, in and out. And now shift into the warrior two stance. So I come on to the water press. I come on to the side of my left foot. Come on to the side of my left foot. I still got my toes, my, my left toes facing forward, but now my hips are facing this, the, the wall to my right. Draw your arms out into a T. Look to see that your arms are parallel. So one's not sinking down, you're not like that. You're straight out, you're sparking your fingers out. You're trying to reach those walls. And now reverse your warrior. Left hand goes up, you look at your thumb, your right hand is drawn down, your right leg. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Now place your left forearm lightly on your left thigh. And now draw your right hand. You're not dumping, you're just lightly. You're using your abdominals to stay lifted. You're lifting out of your hips and draw that arm up overhead for an extended side angle. So your, your, your body is almost in one line. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out and slowly make your way out of that and come back into a comfortable seated position. In true north, remove any flesh from your sit bones. Sit up tall, toes straight ahead, hands on your, your, your knees or your thighs. Chin is back. Ears are in line with your shoulders and your shoulders are in line with your hips. Breathe in and out and close your eyes. We'll end the practice with just a little mindfulness exercise. I live in the city and there's so much sound around me. And I don't know if there's sound where you are, if your windows are open, but try to listen for the most distant sound. Now try to listen for the sound that is the closest to you. There is so much sound around. Bring your hands to heart in prayer. Set an intention for your day. Maybe it's renewal. Maybe it's effervescence, lightness. But set an intention and think of that intention and let, allow your mind to dwell on that intention. We'll end this wonderful practice with the sound of one own. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Oh. knuckles to your forehead. Look up. The light in me honors the light in you. Together we bow and say namaste. Namaste.
Thank you for joining me today. I hope, I hope your body feels better. It does. Thank you very much, Sarah.